Geometry 153. What is an arrowhead? That's an arrowhead. Kind of looks like the prehistoric artifact, right? Made out of stone. They would get leather straps and put it on a stick. Throw it at a mammoth. All right, well, that's what we've got. It's quadrilateral. It's got four sides. It's concave because of this angle dents inward. It has an angle over 180 degrees, which is the concave one. And the diagonal lines have to be extended outside it to be drawn. These are the diagonals of an arrowhead. This diagonal line to connect this vertice to this vertice has to be outside of the arrowhead in order to be drawn. See? And then it makes 90 degrees right there. CB is outside of the figure. It can be symmetric, but not always. So it could be symmetric and fold over itself, like a reflexive property, but it could not be symmetric maybe sometimes, depending on how this obtuse angle is right here, this concave part of it. So, if you look, angles A, B, and C are acute. They're less than 90 degrees, but angle D is more than 90 degrees. It's obtuse, see? It could be like 270 degrees. So, you're not measuring this closed part here, you're measuring this part. That's the angle. See? Here's an angle, here's an angle, here's an angle, and this is the angle. So it's bigger than 180. See that? So, that's an arrowhead. Remember that it's a quadrilateral because it has one, two, three, four sides. And in our next video, we'll do a review of all the quadrilaterals. See you next video.